So, we've all heard of the friend zone, but that zone is actually made up of five levels, and each one needs to be escaped in very different ways, including one you can only escape by being a scumbag, one that only women can escape, and one that's so degrading you'll question your entire existence upon realising you're in it. But you may never have to worry about that if you can just escape from level one friend zone. Next in line. This is when they're attracted to you, but they're already in a relationship. But instead of keeping their distance out of respect for their partner, they choose to keep you close. Why? Because they've pretty much already checked out of their relationship and they want you nearby for the overlap because they're a scumbag and they're hoping you are too. So if you're a man and you really want to be with this sort of woman, then your options are either wait for the relationship to end on its own or give it a little nudge. But if you truly respect yourself as a man, I'd say don't stoop to sabotaging a relationship. Just find yourself a woman who's actually single and pay her to sabotage their relationship. That way, your hands are clean. And if you're a woman in level one friend zone, your instructions are a little more complicated. Step one, throw yourself at him. Step two. Oh, sorry, that was it. Level two friend zone is the backup plan. Similar to level one, she is attracted to you, but this time she doesn't have a boyfriend. So why are you in the friend zone? Because she's either taken some time away from men altogether, or she has some other potential options she'd like to explore first because she's in the middle of a Santa Claus phase. Either way, she's comfortable enough that you'll still be there waiting for her whenever she decides that she's ready for you. So naturally, the only way out of level two friend zone is to show her that you won't be waiting around forever. You can do this by flirting with other girls in front of her, asking her advice about a girl that you're interested in, or even inquiring about the availability of one of her friends. And seeing as this girl already thinks she has you, now she's going to feel like she's losing you. And if she really wants to keep you, she'll have to invite you out of the friend zone. And luckily, a similar process also works for women in level 2 friend zone. So firstly, you want to throw yourself at him, Level 3 friend zone is a cherished friend. This is where she's not attracted to you romantically, but she genuinely likes you as a human being. She thinks you're a great guy, she'd be happy to be your wing woman, she even tries to matchmake you with her girlfriend, because she does think you're an attractive guy, you're just not her type. And unfortunately, there's no magic escape from this one as far as I know. Probably best to just accept a genuine friendship and find another good woman who wants you romantically. And actually, the same goes for women. The number of times you've been told that men and women can't be friends because the guy always wants to sleep with a girl, and now you've actually found a good man who cherishes you as a friend and doesn't want to sleep with you. Don't squander it. Accept the genuine friendship. And then throw yourself at him. Because if you fail to escape level 3 friend zone, you risk slipping into level 4. And now, your self-respect is on the line. Level 4 friend zone. The little kid. This is where she doesn't think you're attractive at all, not even to other people. She sounds genuinely surprised when other women are attracted to you and she'll encourage you to go for it even if she thinks the girl's hideous because she thinks this is the best you can do. She knows that you like her, but she doesn't respect you enough to even believe that she has to take it seriously, so she just ignores it. However, she's happy to accept the validation of you telling her how amazing she is. You're the guy that she'll talk to about other guys she actually likes. And when she's sad over one of them, she'll say things like, Why can't I just find a good guy like you? Like me? No, Hugh. A good guy like Hugh. Me ex? He was so handsome. Essentially, she doesn't see you as a man, and she probably pities you. And to be honest, the only way out of this level of friend zone with any degree of dignity is to distance yourself from her and focus on self-improvement. Work on yourself build yourself and your bank account. It may take a little while, but eventually you'll have enough confidence and self-respect to find a different girl and more than enough money to pay for her cosmetic surgery to look just like the girl we friend zoned you. And what about the women? How do you escape level four friend zone with a guy who doesn't see you as a woman and doesn't even think you're attractive enough to sleep with so throwing yourself at him won't work? Well done, that was a trick question. Obviously, you throw yourself at him. Men don't have standards. And then there's level 5 friend zone, the fan. This is where she's using your attraction to her for tangible benefits rather than just ego boosting. 
She asks you to lend her money, drive her around, help her move house. She literally treats you like a fan who's won the prize of being her lackey. She has zero respect for you and wouldn't even care if you tripped and fell down a well. Men also have women in this level of friend zone, only with the addition of using you sexually whenever he has nothing better on offer. But don't think he'll ever admit it to anyone. Again, he has zero respect for you and throwing yourself at him is probably what got you into this mess in the first place. So if you're a man at level 5, you need to take a giant step back, see her for what she is and let your self-respect do the rest. And if you're a woman at level 5 friend zone, it's the same thing. You're too close and you also need to take a giant step back. To create enough space to take a run up and throw yourself at him twice as hard. And if that don't work, at least you've got some cardio.